You know, I've reviewed all types of internet services right here on this channel. And by some of the comments on my YouTube videos, you might think that you've got no choice in the matter. It's either fiber or nothing. It's just not that simple. And what I'm about to share with you today is gonna help you find the best internet option for your household and maybe save you some money too. I started a long-term test of 5G home internet back in 2022, first with T-Mobile and later testing Verizon and AT&T. And for the past three years and counting, I've been using 5G exclusively, no fiber backup, no cable safety net. So why don't I begin with where I actually agree with those comments I showed earlier. Where fiber is available, it is typically best from a performance standpoint. Most fiber providers lead with their best selling point, and that is the speeds. The biggest advantage is symmetrical speeds, and you can see that in this chart from AT&T Fiber's website. Your upload speed matches your download speed. You don't get that with cable or 5G home internet. So that means with fiber, whether you're streaming a show, hopping on a Zoom call, or uploading files for work, you're gonna get the same fast speeds in both directions. So does that mean you need fiber to do all that stuff? Of course not. But there are some trade-offs with 5G home internet. 5G home internet services rely on cell phone towers. And depending on factors like your proximity to those towers and any obstructions that may be in the way, your performance can vary quite a bit. Even the location of the gateway inside your home can make a difference. The providers post speed ranges like these and you might fall on the low end, the high end, or even outside these ranges entirely. And another factor to consider, network congestion. When the 5G network gets busy, your speeds may be slowed down, and there's really nothing you can do about it. So your exact experience with 5G home internet is kind of hard to predict, unless maybe you've got a close neighbor who's got it. But I thought I'd share my experience anyway. And after several years of testing, streaming TV has worked reliably. And you might be surprised by this. Netflix recommends only 15 megabits per second for 4K streaming. So when you see people saying they need gig speed internet, it's definitely not just for streaming. But do watch out for this. Some live TV streaming services like Hulu Plus Live TV are not compatible with 5G home internet. And that's because of dynamic IP addresses. YouTube TV and most other streaming services will work out just fine. General web browsing, like checking your email, online shopping, and online banking, absolutely no issues at all. And the same for using smart home devices like security cameras. Now, I was most concerned about working from home, but I have been able to run Michael's saves using 5G home internet, plus some freelance work as well that requires a VPN multiple programs at once, and the occasional Zoom call. So if you're getting the advertised speeds for 5G home internet, all of those tasks should check out just fine. A couple though, could be more challenging. First, and perhaps the biggest deal breaker for many households is multiplayer gaming. 5G's ping can be inconsistent. So if you need low latency for competitive gaming, it is not the first choice. But if you're like me and just play games on your phone to pass time, you'll probably be okay. And as I mentioned earlier, upload speeds on 5G, they are not symmetrical. They're gonna be slower than your download speed. So if you're constantly uploading massive files and on a tight deadline, that could be a real issue. Over the years, I've uploaded hundreds of videos on 5G, including 4K content and client work, and it's really never been a problem but my uploads have not been urgent. Just a ballpark, but most videos I make upload in about 10 minutes or less. And there's also larger households. If you've got lots of people using lots of devices all at the same time, 5G's modest download speeds may struggle with that. All right, so if we're talking strictly about performance, fiber wins, but there is one main area where 5G can beat all other internet providers, and that is on pricing. No contract plans for 5G home internet start at around $50 a month, sometimes less if you bundle with phone service. And because of the recent deal war, price guarantees for up to five years are common. Plus 5G home internet is plug and play. No technician visit, 
no installation fee. I believe more competition is better, and that is the reason why I've been following these services so closely. While fiber is better from a technical standpoint, I think 5G Home Internet provides a solid alternative as long as you're a price-sensitive customer with everyday internet needs. Give this video a like if you found it helpful, and use the free tool on michaelsavesdeals.com to compare the best internet options where you live. Thanks for watching.